Galatians 4 verse 10. Ye observe days and months and times and years. So the, the, the Galatians were fooled back into what? They were fooled back into following what? The old covenant involving what? The sacrifices by observing what? Days, months, times, and years. Offering sacrifices upon those days, months, times, and years. Just to bring forth the proof that that sacrifices were offered, Ezekiel 45, 17. Ezekiel 45, Ezekiel 45, 17. I think that's it. Let me make sure I write the wrong scripture down. Yep, that's the one. And it shall come to pass. No. Yeah, this is it. And it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings and drink offerings. Keep this in mind. Meat offerings and drink offerings. In the feasts, and in the new moons, and in the Sabbaths, in all solemnities of the house of Israel, he shall prepare the sin offering, and the meat offering, and the burnt offering, and the peace offerings to make reconciliation for the house of Israel. So offerings were provided on, on days during certain times of the times, days, months, and years. Meat offerings, drink offerings, sin offerings, burnt offerings. Those were offered on Sabbaths, new moons, all feast days, all feasts, all right? Keep in mind meat and drink offerings. The Galatians were fooled back into offering these sacrifices during these days, months, times, and years. They were bewitched back in Galatians 3 verse 1 by false brethren in Galatians 2 verse 3 to 4. The same false brethren back in Acts 15 verse 1 through 5, okay, all through 10. All through Acts 15, all right? Colossians 2.16, Paul gave warning of this. About don't let anyone trick you or trick you into observing. Well, let's find out. And just don't, let anyone, don't let anyone trick you into observing days, months, times, and years. Colossians 2.16. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink. Keep that in mind, meat and drink. Read that earlier. We read, we read meat and drink offerings in Ezekiel 45, 17. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day. How you show respect of a holy day? By offering meat offerings, drink offerings, burnt offerings, peace offerings, sin offerings. Okay, those are the offerings that were shown, that were, that were brought forth to show respect of those holy days. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. So Paul's making it clear that all those, all those meat and drink offerings offered in respect of the holy days, the new moons, the Sabbaths, were all a shadow of things to come, but the body was of Christ. Let's get Hebrews 10, about that shadow of things to come. Hebrews 10 verse 1 again. Because he, because he was here before. For the law having a shadow of good things to come, which is the body of Christ, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices, that's the law he's talking about, which they offered year by year, continually make the comers, meaning the offerers, thereunto perfect. I mean those who offered thereunto perfect. All right? Because offering sacrifices, the blood of bull, the blood of bulls and of goats cannot clear your conscience of sins. It cannot make you perfect. All right. Let's get to Hebrews nine, verse nine now. Now, this is when I go back to Colossians two sixteen. Go back to Colossians two sixteen. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink. The same meat and drink offerings in Ezekiel forty five seventeen. Paul is telling the Colossians. Don't let no man trick you, meaning the Pharisees. Don't allow them to trick you into thinking that you'll receive a judgment against you for not bringing forth meat and drink offerings in respect of an holy day or of the new moons or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, what the sacrifices involved in those days. 
back in Ezekiel 45, 17. But the body is of Christ. Because the body, the ultimate sacrifice was of Christ. Hebrews 9, verse 9. Which was a figure for the, for the time then present, in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect. Read that earlier in Hebrews 10, verse 1. As pertaining to the conscience, to the mind. Verse 10. Which stood only in meats and in drinks and diverse washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them. Meaning they were, we were bound to that. We were, we were bound to that covenant imposed on them until the time of reformation, until the time of Christ. All right? So the meat and drink offerings were involved in sacrifices. That's the meat and drink that Paul was talking about in Colossians 2.16, which were a shadow of things to come in Colossians 2.17. John 6. John 6.54. Six, I'm ending with this. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. And he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. So Christ made it clear that his flesh and blood were meat and drink indeed. Those, his body was the ultimate sacrifice. That's why it says, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ, meaning Christ's body was the ultimate sacrifices now. So no longer do we keep the commandments in the feast days offering sacrifices because Christ's body was the ultimate sacrifice. So I hope you get an understanding with that. Alright, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Most high in Christ's bless. Stand the commandments.